In this video, we are going to walk through the unintended installation of the Agent for Windows via MST Transform. I've downloaded the updated installer file and created a directory to extract the MSI files. When the installation wizard loads, I select Create MST and MSI Files for Unintended Installation. Then in What to Install, I choose the components I want to include in the package. For this example, I'm using the Agent for Windows, the Command Line Tool, and the Cyber Protection Monitor. For registration settings, you can specify credentials, use a token, or skip and register later. I'm going to use the registration token. To obtain this token, we need to log in to the platform under our customer administrator account. And in the devices section, we'll choose add, then scroll down and generate the registration token. Choose the time to live of the token, click generate, and copy the token. Next, we'll go back into our wizard and paste the token into the field and click Done. We'll leave the rest of the default settings and click Proceed. I'm specifying my previously created directory for saving the files, then click Generate. You can see the files populated in the directory here. Once finished, we'll move over to our test machine to perform the install. You can see the default name of the system here. We'll verify this name after the install completes in the web console. I'm opening the command prompt as admin and changing to the directory of my saved files. Then run the command for installation on the specified components using the MST transform. You can see the progress bars move through, and once completed, we'll see the tray monitor pop up in the bottom right of the screen. Next, we'll hop over to the web console to verify that the agent has been successfully installed and registered under the appropriate account. Here you can see the default name of our test system, where we can now choose to apply a protection plan to the machine or create a brand new plan if necessary. 